see you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid and they know there's a spy. There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. <laughs> Colonel, did he talk? No, he died before I could get it out of him. Was it the spy then? Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. But does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? This is war, Major. A Cold War, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. 
Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades. The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then... who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagohad and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. Huh? Impossible. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. boots. Make sure you polish them up properly. Do you want to save? Snake, you know the bridge on the River Kwai? Haven't seen it. It's about a group of Allied prisoners in Japanese-occupied Burma in World War II who worked together to build a bridge. Under the leadership of an English officer, the prisoners and the Japanese gradually bring the project toward completion. But at the same time, the Allied forces are hatching a plan to blow up the bridge. War and futility go hand in hand. I suppose so. I didn't think you were the type to go for war movies, though. Actually, this guy invited me to go see it with him. A date? I guess you could call it that. Still, you just don't seem like the type. Well, he seemed to like war movies. He was a Navy boy. I was still an intern back then. They brought him in with a broken leg. He said, when I'm all healed up, will you go see a movie with me to celebrate? If it's okay. He was so shy. Where is he now? With the Seventh Fleet. I see. You've got the key from Eva. Now use it to enter the underground tunnel. The great fortress of Groznygrad is at the end of that tunnel. The door to the underground tunnel is in the summit area. Hurry. It looks like you can get a nice panoramic view of Groznygrad from there. 
Perhaps you should scout it out now while you can. Just don't do anything too conspicuous. Remember that the attack chopper is still on patrol. The horse the boss was riding sounds like an Andalusian. Andalusians are from the region of Andalusia in Spain. They're renowned for their beauty, their gentle nature, and their physical prowess. Hmm. Just so you know, you can't eat them. Hey, I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you were going to. I was. Yes. Don't even think about eating a horse, got it? Guess I'll have to mark it off the list. What did you say? I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. You say Granin's shoes were rigged with a transmitter? That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. It's exactly like you described, a miniature transmitter that's small enough to put in a shoe. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on her. Hmm. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. Sigint. Yo! Eva said she set up a ground effect vehicle for us to make our escape. So I heard. The ground effect vehicle, or WIG, is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed, which gives the wing an extra boost. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the Russians are pretty serious about developing these wigs. Apparently, they're planning on using them for anti-submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The wig's long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field-tested as a transport craft. The WIG has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, and its range is pretty good, too. Not that speed is gonna help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail, but if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. Snake, watch out for enemy troops carrying flamethrowers. Under no circumstances should you get close to the flame troops. Either sneak by without being seen, or take them out from a distance. If you get blasted by a flamethrower, your body will catch on fire. If your body catches on fire, either roll around repeatedly to put it out, or go into the survival viewer and change out of the burning clothes. When you catch fire, you'll get burned unless you put the flames out quickly. So be sure to extinguish the flames right away, okay? Snake, I don't recommend running around wildly. You need to determine when it's best to run and when it's best just to walk. Move the left stick slightly to walk. You won't move very fast, but it consumes little stamina. 
and enemies are less likely to detect you. When you are near enemies or when you need to conserve stamina, those are good times to walk. I see you've caught yourself an Emperor Scorpion. The Emperor Scorpion is said to be the largest scorpion in the world. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin, so take care that you don't get stung. If you do get stung, go into the survival viewer and use Cure to inject yourself with serum right away. Okay. So how's it taste? Not very good, I'm afraid. No. Don't get so discouraged. There are other ways to use it besides eating it, right? Like what? Like catching one alive with a tranquilizer gun and throwing it at the enemy? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I wonder if you even remember that you were on a mission. <sighs> You seen any enemies equipped with flamethrowers? Those flamethrowers are M2s. They were first used in World War II during the invasion of Guam. The M2 uses pressurized nitrogen gas to fire a fuel mixture of napalm and gasoline. It comes in handy for torch in places that are tough to secure with conventional firepower, like trenches and bunkers and pillbox enclosures. Watch out though, get hit by a flamethrower in a narrow spot like a closet or a trench and it's barbecue time. Don't wander too close to an enemy carrying a flamethrower. If you need to take one out, try sniping from a distance so the flames can't reach you. What are they doing with American-made flamethrowers anyway? Well, like a lot of other Western weapons, those M2s were probably jacked for research purposes. But if they're actually using them, man, they must really have it in for you. What do you mean? The flamethrower is heavy, short-ranged, and can only be used for a short period of time. Not only that, but when a flame trooper gets captured, he's almost always put to death. Basically, it's a bad idea all the way around to use flamethrowers unless you're sweeping. And despite all that, they're keeping them at the ready just for you. What do you think of it? They're out for revenge. Well, you've killed three members of the Cobra unit already. So you can see why Vogan has it in for you. Watch out, though. Get hit by a flamethrower in a narrow spot like a closet or a trench, and it's barbecue time. I'm so, I'm so hungry. The enemy's here. Where'd he go?
Snake, hold on. What? Do you know where you're supposed to be going? Of course I do. Tell me then. The tunnel to Groznygrad. And do you know where the entrance to that tunnel is? Yeah. Where is it? It's over there. Over where? No, I mean it's over here. Huh. Was it over that way? Oh. <sighs> the entrance to the underground tunnel leading to Groznygrad is near the center of the summit area. Sokolov is in grave danger. Get a move on. So it was over there. <laughs> 